guys, it's your favorite reliability and test guy here with another fun filled action packed video on reliability tests and validation topics. In this video, we are going to gain an understanding of reliability and confidence. So what is reliability? Reliability is the probability that a system or component performs its intended function without failure under stated conditions for a specified period of time. It's mathematically expressed as R sub T equals P, which is no failure before time, T. For example, if a system has a reliability of 90% at 1,000 hours, it means there is a 90% chance the system will operate for 1,000 hours without failure. Let's now define what confidence is. Confidence is a statistical measure of how certain we are in our reliability estimate. If we say, we are 90% confident the reliability is at least 90% at 1000 hours, we're expressing both the reliability target, R, and the confidence level, CL, that our test data supports this claim. Reliability tells us how good the product is. Confidence tells us how sure we are about it. Let's now talk about setting reliability and confidence targets. Here is how to set targets. Reliability and confidence targets are typically driven by customer or regulatory requirements, field failure tolerance, mission criticality or safety implications. Competitive benchmarking. Here are some example targets. Automotive battery pack. Reliability greater than or equal to 95% at 1000 cycles. Confidence greater than or equal to 90%. These values define the minimum acceptable performance for passing validation. Let's now talk about determining sample size to demonstrate that we meet reliability and confidence targets. Pictured is the parametric reliability demonstration using the y bull distribution, where RT is the reliability at time ATA is the characteristic life, aka the scale parameter. Beta is the shape parameter, aka the slope. T is time or cycles, for example, mission duration. Let's now walk through how to implement the parametric reliability demonstration calculations to determine sample size for a test. Step one, given required mission reliability, R sub requirement, mission time, T sub mission, test time, T sub test, Y bull shape parameter, beta, confidence level, C, for example, 90%. Step two, convert mission reliability to test reliability using the Y bull model as demonstrated in the diagram. Three, plug into binomial formula as pictured. Let's walk through an example calculation. Let's say R sub RQMT equals 0 0.80. T sub mission equals 2000 hours. T subtest equals 1000, beta equals 2.0, C equals 0 0.90. Step one, we perform the conversion as pictured. First, evaluate inner terms. Next is step two, sample size for 90% confidence, zero failures. And as you can see, you need 41 units tested for 1000 hours with zero failures to demonstrate 80% reliability at 2000 hours with 90% confidence. Now, 41 samples might not be feasible for you, especially if we are talking about expensive systems or prototypes. The workaround for this, when costs become an issue, is to increase the test time. By increasing the test time in the parametric binomial equation, you can reduce the number of samples required to demonstrate your reliability and confidence target. But time is money, and you may not have the luxury of increasing your testing time. So what is the workaround for additional time? Applying an acceleration factor. By increasing the stress level for your test, you can decrease the test time, which helps you meet your reliability and confidence target with fewer samples and without adding significant test time. Use the acceleration factor for your stress carefully, as there are limits to how large an acceleration factor you can use. If you go too high, say with an extreme test temperature, you could end up creating unrealistic failure modes that you would not see during actual field or customer usage. So accelerate carefully. Remember, understanding, defining, and validating reliability and confidence targets for your system and product can help your company become a top leader in your market.
If you need help with your reliability program, please feel free to reach out to me at the link in the description. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching and have a blessed day.